back seat of my car. So I'm filming my phone. I find it much more difficult to do. The brutals are here. Kevin's driving and we're just um, waiting on my dad to go down and pick up his car. So I'll drive this car back and they will come back in my dad's car. My dad did get his license back yesterday. So this will be his first time driving since his stroke. Um, I don't know where he is. He came over at 10 to 7. I said, oh, you're an hour early. It's only 10 to 7, not 10 to 8. But now he doesn't seem to have, I don't know where he's gone. Or he is. Kevin's just going to try and find him. So yeah, I'm out and about and obviously dressed and ready. Very early in the day. Tails tell me Poppy's been found. <laughs> Chew, come on back here. Well, I haven't had breakfast yet, but it is time to get to work. I've just hung out Christy's washing because she ended up racing off to the uni and didn't get a chance to get done. And I was like, it's windy and sunny out there. So it's just like perfect washing day. So I've done that for her. Now I'm going to go grab the vacuum, vacuum through downstairs. And then I'm going to have my breakfast before I head upstairs. Because when I go upstairs, I'll be up there probably for a little bit. <laughs> I did see my vanity, oh my goodness. I don't know why it's got so bad. I just didn't finish putting things away when coming from my last holiday and it's just, the, oh, I don't know. I just keep adding to a pile of, my laundry just keeps going up and instead of, I usually put it straight away but because it's already a mess, I just add it to the mess. I think we all know that. You just, things attract things. So best not to have things out then <laughs> nothing can be attracted to them. Yeah, so that's all I want to do today. I did end up getting the kitchen all cleaned yesterday, except for the floors. I'm not going to try and mop them now, but I'm going to get them vacuumed, get the lounge room vacuumed in the front entry, because there are some golden retriever fluff piles in the front. Um, what are they called? Dust, dog, dust? They're not dust bunnies. I call them fluff bunnies, I think. So, with that, get that dealt with. Uh, yeah, got a little bit of stuff in the kitchen. Not too much today. I'll do that later on. I'm not taking mum to her appointment. Dad's gonna take her now this morning. And I said this afternoon, you can let me know. So this afternoon, if I do go to that appointment with her, I'll drop her off and take the doggies to the dog park. We had a nice one we went to a few, two weeks ago, that big dog park. And if not, I will take them for a walk. I'm dressed like in a skirt. So um, I'm forward to change my pants, well, not my pants, change my skirt out for something more appropriate for a walk. But if I'm staying home, that's fine. When I dress off thinking I was doing all the running around still. So it's been good to do that for mum and dad, but I am quite relieved that it is finished for now and I can get myself sorted. Uh, Christy also missed picking up the dog toy, so I'm gonna need to do, <laughs> to do that before I can vacuum in there. It's all right. Um, oh, I'm hungry, so I'll get to do that and then I'll grab my breakfast. So just when I come back from um, doing the pick up with Des car. I had a cup of tea but I am hungry now I don't I haven't got a watch on so I'm a bit lost what time it is I think it's about 9 30 ish I don't have no idea my phone's somewhere as well <laughs> at the moment and nothing tells me the time in here anyway well um we'll get on and hopefully we're going to have a somewhat productive day today I'll be glad when I can get the whole house cleaned like when we get upstairs cleaned and the staircase done then we're kind of on top of things because you did the bathroom downstairs as well yes I think I already said that so we're getting there besides the weekend over the dogs it's still another week another month or so I think four weeks or so until we go to New Zealand <laughs> always something coming up at the moment but yeah well, um, uh, I ordered two beautiful teacups yesterday I don't think I showed you because one of them, it's, it's beautiful, but it's not what I ordered. So I've got a contact T2, because this is very tiny for me. I think this one only holds like a cup of liquid. I mean, it's beautiful and it comes with a nice plate, but I ordered the bigger mug, um, which was probably a very similar pattern. It's, um, they're from T2 by a, um, a very young, which is only 18, I think, or 19, Aboriginal, design, Aboriginal painter, Aboriginal designer. And it's work, I think it's Brooke something, can't remember now, but it's just stunning. I just love the big teapot, but I don't need a teapot, I've already got one. So I've taught myself out of that, much as I love it. I'm hoping maybe they'll still be around and go on sale and maybe I can justify it then, because I absolutely love it. But I'd also decided I was only buying teaware in blue or teal colors, maybe a green. Oh, I guess this is blue. <laughs> okay, the base is blue. 
So this is the blue tea mug, but not that I'm keeping this one. But um, I'll show you the other one that's over here. The other one's got is a cup with a diffuser in it. So last night I had a peppermint tea. So this is the other one. Not as blue, but still blue. And the lid's blue. So I used that in my peppermint tea last night. <sighs> but yeah, absolutely beautiful, beautiful range. I'll try and remember to link it below, but if you're looking for a teapot or teaware, mm -hmm, I just love it. I'd love to like buy the whole range, but I don't need it. I have some nice teacups that I love, and I'm just happy to mix and match a teacup, but the boy decided it's gonna go like blue. And then I fell in love with this, which is more colourful than just blue or green or teal. All right, let's um, pick up dog toys and vacuum this room. Time to clean. Let's see, look at that. Nice, nice level of dust up here. I don't know what Kevin's doing. Radio theory, okay. <laughs> Clear up that. I guess he didn't make the bed very well today. I'm so can't wait till this quilt can come off. Much easier to make the bed then. Um, my side of the table. My side of the bed's not too bad. Just got a berry that came out of the dog. It's probably dusty too, so we'll give that a clean. Oh, I can my watch now. I didn't charge up last night. And then, this disgrace. Why don't you tidy it up a little bit? <laughs> I think it was worse. So what you do with that? And one more. Yes, bit of a dumping ground post holiday. And, some stuff to donate and some robe. Kevin's robe, he had four robes here. And it just got a bit frustrating. So I've taken, he loves this one that we got in Target in Hawaii. So I'm gonna put the rest of them away somewhere up there. And we'll see if he uses them. If he doesn't, then they can get donated. So yeah, a bit of tidying up in there as well. A bit of cleaning too. And yeah, the shower screen needs done. We'll probably get to that today. That can maybe tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I just realised the fan needs clean too. Oh. Again, not doing that today. We're just going to do our normal clean and tidy. Oh, I've got some shoes. 
It's always good in here. Oh, okay. And I see a puppy. <laughs> I threw that on the floor this morning when I was unpacking. And obviously someone thought that was a fun little toy. That's daddy's. Not a fun toy for puppies. I'm guessing that was Chewy because he likes to still find little treasures that he thinks are toys. What are you trying to do? Tin tickle? Tin tickle? Alright, I've got to get to work, mate. so good I really want to go through my drawers and stuff but I think <laughs> we'll worry about just tidying and doing a basic clean today so I've cleaned the toilet as well and vacuumed the floors haven't mopped them because I didn't bring the mop up but you know all the hair is off the floor <laughs> now I'm going to get sorted in here 
get that all cleared off the floor and just run the vacuum through. And that might even just do me today. I've got a bit of stuff in the kitchen, but at least this room, the bedroom's put back together. And I don't feel like quite such a bad housewife. <laughs> I'll finish making the bed in a bit when I clear the stuff off it, but it's cleared off the surfaces over there. There's a beautiful breeze coming through, but don't get it quite through there. Anyway, I've done bedroom and bathroom. Like the mirrors need fingerprints. I mean, you can see fingerprints cleaned off it and things like that. Obviously, shower screen still hasn't been done, but I've done the basics. And the place looks a lot tidier, which makes me rather happy. Oh, and I found these earrings that you might have seen too. <laughs> Later, I'm just gone down behind the jewelry box. So, another day next week or in the coming weeks i want to go through i want to declutter stuff again a bit more ruthlessly um yeah so i've got more stuff i want to get rid of in the you know things i don't use try and work out do i keep them for the odd time i use them or do i just do i think i'm just going to let things go a bit easier now and just i just want what i use all the time i don't want things that i might use if i'm not using them now i'm probably not going to use them so but I'm trying to do that. Like that's for jewelry, makeup. Um, probably not so much skincare. I might have some samples of skincare, but I'm pretty good at my skincare is just what I really love at the moment. I'm trying a few new things out though. Uh, but there are um, going again. I've got a few samples. I have to make sure I use them or lose them. <laughs> I'm sure I did not come up that same myself. I'm sure I've heard it somewhere before. Yeah, and some hair stuff I know because I'm very lazy when it comes to hair care and I, all I do is wash and condition my hair <laughs> pretty much. I don't intend to even brush it these days. I've just been putting it up to dry and then it tends to go okay. I've still got a lot of regrowth going again. So those um, wired headbands and wired head, wired head wraps have been great. But I don't know where to put them. I've got four. So I haven't even got that many. I think I'm going to be getting some more. And it's just not a full in the bathroom, but maybe on my scarf rack. And that might actually kind of work. Because when I get dressed, I can just get a quart. Actually, that would really work. I hadn't thought of that until just then. Because I have these scarves and I do not wear scarves. So I'm a winter one, so that's easy to put away. The lace one, I already know I'm going to get rid of. And I will keep these. But they don't need to be, well, they could be down there. And I could put my head wraps there. And then I've just got, you know, my clothes are right there. So that'll probably work. So when I come to do that, we'll do that later on. For now, I just, oh, this looks, after it's been messy for weeks, this just looks so good. So I just sort of, I cleaned that out of the makeup on that side. And I just cleaned it out and put it there. But then now my makeup used to go there. And now it's sort of there. But they can stay there for now. Are they all there? I've got four of them. No, one's not there. One must be. Yeah, there's the last one. Down there with my scrunchies and stuff. That's the downside of having long hair. You end up with hair accessories. I'll fix it up later on. But I don't have one that goes with this outfit. <laughs> I need just a plain blue one because I just get so many flyaway fluffy pieces and the head wrap. Even though it probably still looks messy, even though it probably still looks messy, I feel like it's better. <sighs> All right, I am, oh, I'm not finished up here, but I am, I think I'm done for now. 
I can't vacuum up anymore because the vacuum has gone flat. So I think I'll take down, I'm going to take down this stuff, fix up the bed a bit. And I'll, did I already show you out here? The problem, it's not that bad really, but it's travel stuff. Um, the room that it goes in is a big mess and also needs done. So, <sighs> leaving it for now, maybe this afternoon, if I'm not taking mum to her appointment, we can come and pop this away. <laughs> and then well, get to the other room. So there's, always some, there's always stuff needing done. It gets easier because there's less and less and less. And once C and Dan come down and take away, heap us off. I'll probably have some more room actually in that study to, I will show you what I'm talking about so you understand. So yeah, I can't even get really in this cupboard, in this room. <laughs> I mean, it was my, I just set it up as a really nice exercise room with my, oh my Disney bands up and stuff. I had it really nice. But again, too much stuff. I've started sorting boxes and stuff for three jigsaws and whatnot. And then we just have a mess. So, I mean, this cupboard is, is empty. But, <laughs> Kevin's, yeah, look this, Kevin's desk, box of the jigsaws. So I need to sort these chairs that aren't even being used. Obviously they're just probably broken chairs or something. I don't know, not being used. I need to get rid of them. But I might take all the travel stuff. Again, I wanna, we have downsized it, but we've had a couple of trips. So if something's there, you've really got to think, do I really need it? There are some things, yes, for certain holidays we would want. Uh, what am I thinking of? My, my little, um, so I probably don't need things. There's some things in there I probably don't need that I've kept. Yeah, another day, another day, another problem. No, another problem, another day. Oh, I don't know, whatever the saying is. Come puppies, let's come out of there. Come on, let just come. I am pooped, I need a rest and then we'll see if we can come back up and do some more stuff. I'm just quickly making some lunch. Not doing my potatoes because it's already 20 to 3. So I'm just having some of these cauliflower fritter bites. I haven't had them before. They sound nice. Just heated them up. Always I'm going to have some super expensive red cabbage, but I'm addicted to it and I love it and it's good for me. And it's better than a chocolate bar, isn't it? So I'm having that with some lettuce on my wrap with veganese. That'll be yummy. Quick and easy to make. I don't know if I was recording or not, so I'll start again. So it's been a bit of a, a crazy afternoon after my lunch when I picked up after the dogs and I don't know, probably did some other things I can't remember now in the kitchen. Started to work on my jigsaw puzzle and then Kevin came home, Dad came over, Christy came home, like all like at the same time pretty much. <laughs> so I sat and filled Mum and Dad's medication for the next two weeks and then Kevin came home with some daffodils for me. I don't know if it's daffodil day or not, I'm not sure. So I've just gone to go and get uh, a vase, which is actually a milk jug from Wittards, one of my favorite UK stores. Um, I think I used to buy a lot from them before we had T2. Now T2 have nice mugs. I'm gonna put them in, <laughs> get some water in, make up my almond milk. So given time early, it's thrown me out because it's only 4.30, <laughs> so. And then, yeah, obviously I'm not gonna get much more done today, but that's okay. <sighs> I did good. I'm very happy that this upstairs of bed is going to be so nice when I got to bed tonight and the surfaces are all cleared off and clean. That's going to be so nice. Um, I did let teach you know about the mug. I haven't heard back yet. And I need to order a new phone case, I think, because I'm getting Kevin's phone. He's getting a new one, of course. So yeah, I need to do that. So tonight's dinner is some pasta bolognese. So it was just a a pasta we got at Costco with a, a lentil, very vegetable lentil. You can see lots of vegetables in there, lentils in the bolognese sauce and a bit of nutritional yeast on top. Kevin's got normal cheese. <laughs> he does not like savoury yeast. <laughs> and we're watching the last or the latest season of Call the Midwife. 